remembers this guy? <laughs> if you're like most of us, this is who taught your health class in between coaching PE and your high school's football team. Let's call him Coach Bob. The Coach Bob health education model was a failure. And this is what we see in schools all across Miami-Dade County. We have classrooms where nine out of 25 students have said that they have thought about suicide. One out of three has been the victim of emotional, physical, or sexual abuse. One out of four has contracted a sexually transmitted disease. Now, kids were looking for practical answers to their problems, but unfortunately, only Coach Bob could provide the facts and figures from his textbook. What kids were asking were these questions, and these are real questions that we see from students all across Miami-Dade County, and we have thousands of them like this. The state of Florida realized that the Coach Bob model was a failure, but instead of fixing it, they just got rid of it in 2008. It seemed that if we didn't see the emotional abuse, we didn't see the sexually transmitted diseases, then they didn't exist. We could just sweep them under the rug. We had given up until now. What seemed like an insurmountable problem actually had a simple solution. Take the adults out of the equation and put the kids in charge. And that's what we've been doing for the past four years at Health Information Project, which most people know as HIP. We train and empower 11th and 12th grade students to go into 9th grade classrooms to talk about relevant topics, such as reproductive health, mental health, relationships, drugs, and nutrition. There are no scare tactics, no gross pictures of STDs, no outdated textbooks, and no cheesy 80s videos just relevant, honest discussion among peers. And during these past four years, we've come across three insights as to why our program works and the Coach Bob model fails. And the first insight, adults have no credibility when it comes to health. <laughs> Kids are not interested in what adults have to say. How often have you heard a kid say to an adult, you don't understand what I'm going through. It was different when you were my age. Now, if a kid is leading that health discussion, other kids can't give that same rebuttal. Now, remember, the subject of health is not the same as the subject of math, where there are equations and solutions. With health, it's complicated. It's tied into a kid's vulnerabilities, their personal experiences, their socioeconomic status, and their family background. And kids want to hear from other kids. They want solutions on how to navigate that world. In fact, nine out of 10 students said that they prefer being taught health by a peer than by adults, nine out of 10. The second insight that we came across is that we have an amazing untapped resource at every school in this country, the students. Kids are the best salespeople. They are masters of social media and viral communication. And not only do they spread these messages in their schools, but also in their homes and in their communities. And on top of that, they're free labor. HIP runs on only $8 per student per year, $8. And that's cheaper than this fancy schmancy organic cold pressed juice that you buy on South Beach. That seems like a very small price to pay for life-saving, life-changing information for a kid. Now, the third insight that we came across, and possibly the most important one, is that peer pressure is good. We generally associate peer pressure with negative behaviors, such as smoking cigarettes or pot, cyberbullying and sex. Anti-drug and abstinence campaigns have for years tried to get kids to resist peer pressure. But what if we could use peer pressure for good? At HIP schools, we have students encouraging other students to get vaccinations, yearly checkups. They're giving each other smart information at parties. Others are jumping on this positive peer pressure bandwagon as well. At HIP, we are creating high school campuses where it is hip to be healthy. 
Four years ago, we had a simple idea to tackle the health crisis in this country. Go into schools and tell students about health information so they could make smart decisions about their health. And today, we have over 15,000 students in the Miami-Dade County schools that are being given the opportunity to be healthy because of the HIP program. Aren't you tired of hearing about the last kid who was cyberbullied and committed suicide? Aren't you tired of the numbers of students that are pregnant in our schools? Aren't you tired of hearing about the latest school shooting and the undiagnosed mental health condition? We have the solution. And with your help, we can take this program nationwide. Together, we can give every kid the opportunity to be healthy.